told you at 4 o'clock, the two Raleigh fire stations were short-staffed this weekend. CBS 17's Haley Fixler has been digging deeper. And she's live at station number 14, which is off Lake Boone Trail. Haley, uh, how was the community in danger, or were they uh, because of this? They weren't, and that's because they had some backup plans in place to make sure that every station had everything they need to put out a fire. But this short staffing is a serious problem, and as I, as I found out today, it's also quite costly. Currently, we have uh, 65 vacancies. Dozens of firefighters in Raleigh are needed and fast, while recruitment efforts are picking up. We have a recruit class that's graduating this fall. And uh, starting in September, we're going to be uh, having lateral transfers. The shortage is creating a lot of problems across the city. On Saturday, for eight hours, Station 1 and Station 14 had to take an engine out of service. The problem, the overtime callback list exhausted. You're going to have shortcomings due to unscheduled leave. People calling out. We modified a dispatch to give you additional resources to every call. It's not uncommon, but it is expensive. From June 2021 to June 2022, the Raleigh Fire Department spent almost $3.8 million in overtime. They only budgeted for $770,000. It's not the first time, won't be the last. But we have plans in place. Those plans include adding more money in the new budget that started at the beginning of July. Fire officials have now budgeted that cost for more than $1 million. Now, firefighters are not the only ones who are short staffed. Tonight at 6, the emergency worker shortage across the city. Live in Raleigh, Haley Fixler, CBS 17 News. All right, Haley, thank you very much.